Don't you? <sighs> the problem with these tranquilizer rounds is that they bruise the body. That's her. Duna Newt has been secured. She's beautiful. Twelve minutes. She sure knows how to sleep. For a legendary soldier, she's awful cute when she sleeps. Do you think she knows about your body? <laughs> she's bound to be amazed at seeing our utopia. Utopia, huh? Olympus AF5, we are requesting permission to land. Keep a wide berth until they confirm our ID. Otherwise, the mobile fortress will fill us full of holes. Olympus AF5, this is... Verified. Proceed to platform. Landing clearance confirmed. This is ESWAT G2E9, commencing landing procedure. I'm going up ahead to scout around. I'll come with you. No, Dunan. Stay here. Relax. I'll be back before you know it. Briarios? I see you gave her a full workup. Just following orders from the legislature. Can't believe she's still asleep. Maybe we gave her the wrong dose of anesthesia.
Move and I'll snap your neck. Second platoon leader, Dune and Newt. Stand down at once. Briorios. This is hard, but the facts are there, Dunan. Are you saying that after all those years of fighting, there was no clear winner to the global war? Right. And now Olympus governs the world. The ruling body is comprised of the former General Administration Agency. So for months, I've been fighting one meaningless battle after another without knowing anything. Well, that's war for you. But in Olympus, Mankind has finally achieved a state of utopia in a fair and balanced society. So what do you need me for? Even an ideal society still requires great warriors. Eswat has had you on the top of their reinforcement list for some time now. You see, it's my job to find elite soldiers from the outside world, such as yourself, and bring them here to Olympus. Eswat? I'm sure you must have a lot of questions, but let's leave them till tomorrow, all right? For now, just get some rest. I'll swing by in the morning and give you a tour. I just know you're going to like it here. Our little utopia. Your bedroom is right in here. It must be ages since you slept in a warm bed. I'll pick you up at 10 a.m. sharp. Hitomi. That's your name, right? Correct. Do we know each other? <laughs> I don't think so. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> when did you...? On the North African front. My body was badly damaged. That was a year ago. It was Carl's, a keepsake of your father. Don't let it get confiscated. Call me if you need anything. Briarios, do you have any idea who attacked me out there? No. Very sad. It was you who orchestrated that attack, wasn't it, Athena? A few greedy mercenaries are no threat to Iswat, are they? Have you forgotten the Bioroid's primary mission? 
If the military finds out, support for the general will grow. General Uranus is beyond our control now. And the limit of Gaia's tolerance may have been reached. Athena, the little time we have left is running out. Mickey. We have a leak. I'm sorry, Prime Minister. Nikkei, I want a covert investigation of Eastwat. I'll arrange it immediately. We barely averted a total disaster. It's lucky for us they didn't find it. Then you mean... Looks like they didn't do anything rash, like a full cerebral scan. But still, we'd be fools to believe this was over. I want you to make sure I have Dune and Newt. Yes, ma'am. What a strange creature is man that he would choose to cage himself so willingly. It is indeed an honor to have you here in person, Colonel Hades. As we speak, the members of Eastwad are desperately chasing a decoy. Your order is nearly complete, sir. Full assembly stands at 98%. Magnificent. The special parts requested weren't easy to come by, but rest assured, they can never be traced. <laughs> General Uranus will be pleased. It begins. The Bioroids will no longer have their way. Yes, I agree. But that does not change present circumstances. Our goal is to protect the sheep, not the wolves. First generation Bioroids like Athena lacks sufficient restraints. It would seem the proverbial wolf has adorned itself in sheep's clothing. True, but whether wolf or sheep, we cannot allow a single person to be harmed. It is useless. The outcome's known. It has always been acknowledged. But even so, that is all the more reason to continue our debate. Agreed. Let us resume our consultation with Gaia. You look terrific. Hop in. Your immigration papers were finalized this morning. 
You are now an official citizen of Olympus. It's beautiful, isn't it? Considering where I was until yesterday, this all seems like a mirage. Well, as of today, it's reality. Everyone seems so happy. That's because half of the city's population is pure bioroid. Bioroid? Manufactured humans. You mean clones? Not just ordinary clones, but an advanced hybrid species made from the highest quality components. Let me get this straight. The whole city's run by just clones? Pardon me, but just clones? You didn't know I was a Viroid too, did you? What? And while our composition may be superior to yours, Viroids in no way attempt to control human beings. Our role is to stabilize an otherwise turbulent human society. We're facilitators of balance and peace. Half the city is Viroid. This car seems sort of strange. It has one of the new prototype Damasa systems installed. Meaning what? It's a floating car. Live long enough and you'll see everything, I guess. They've achieved gravity control through high-frequency oscillation? And you control it through the steering wheel, right? Everything has cyborg senses now, just like this car. The basis of all modern design is human-centered and user-friendly. Conceptual simplicity, structural complexity, achieves a greater state of humanity, right? What is that? It's the Central Planning Bureau's motto for Olympus design. The city maintenance department swears by it. And there's its shining symbol, Tartarus and Daedalus. Inside those two amazing structures is the enormous IN brain, which runs all of Olympus. IN? Intelligence network. We nicknamed it Gaia. Gaia is a self-expanding network that monitors all aspects of daily life here in the city. Mainly, our bioroid interaction. With human beings? Correct. Humans are ruled by unstable emotions. Their inherent anger often leads to war. But in bioroids, emotional reactions are suppressed. We harbor no anger or jealousy towards other people. And that's how we've been able to keep the peace. However, at the top of Tartarus is a virus tank called D-Tank, which is guarded by the ultimate system in high-tech security. If the virus was ever released, it would wipe out all Bioroid existence. I know it's man's need for self-preservation, but that doesn't make it any less insulting. Meaning humans pose a bigger threat? I mean, it's vital to maintain a balance between us. That's why Gaia also monitors the emotional effect of Bioroids on humans. In other words, it makes sure we humans don't get out of line. You're starting to sound like General Uranus. Who's that? Commander of the Olympus Regular Army. And an extremist of the highest order. He abhors all Bioroids. Sounds like Utopia isn't the General's cup of tea. The Olympus governing body is comprised entirely of Bioroids. Prime Minister Athena is one as well. Athena? Uh, Athena? Oh, have the two of you met before? I don't see how we could have. <laughs> I guess you could say she's our commander in chief. Although humans are still in charge of the military. Kind of scary, huh? Anyway, Iswa is led by Prime Minister Athena under the authority of the administration. It's almost grown into an army unto itself. And that's not winning her any friends with a regular army. Of course, neither one of them has final authority over Olympus. That's entrusted to Gaia. Hmm? What's wrong? We're being followed.
Not too friendly looking, are they? If I had to, I guess they were after me. Good guess. Yep, this is reality, all right. <laughs> Goodness, you're safe. You weren't hurt, were you? I'm fine. No need to worry. They're so protective. Anyway, here she is, Miss Dune and Newt. Ooh! The rumors of your beauty do not do you justice. The goddess of war. How lovely. You have your father's eyes. Excuse me, but did you know my father? Well, of course, my dear. Everyone knows about the great Colonel Newt. Most bioroids in Olympus carry a trace of Carl's DNA within their systems. Which makes you and Hitomi almost like sisters, genetically speaking. We regret what happened to you earlier. And so soon after your arrival. A sign of the times. Violence against those from the outside world has risen as of late. Some fear our society is losing its delicate balance. Later, let us first introduce you to Gaia. some excitement. The legislature and administration are at odds. This dispute only proves how arrogant the Bioroids have become. Are you certain Prime Minister Athena is searching for Carl's daughter? Absolutely, sir. Everything stands at the ready. How reliable is our intelligence? Extremely. Level 5. General, we need a decision. I will never allow humans to become living tools. So this is Gaia. Gaia was designed to be a self-propagating network, which oversees and administers all of Olympus. 
You see, the will of Olympus is decided through debate between Gaia and the Seven Elders. Gaia is a composite system, a collection of wisdom and acumen of the scientists who designed it. But in the end, it's still a machine, perfect in its stability. It will never waver. In other words, it has no emotion or capacity for human sentiment. By adding our seven minds to its collective understanding of humanity, we give Gaia's thinking a measure of flexibility. Although lately all you seem to do is disagree with it. It is our duty as a council to ensure an ongoing dialogue between us and Gaia. The results of our continued conversation with each other sets Olympus on the proper path towards the future. Till yesterday, you were on the battlefield, weren't you, Dunin? Please tell us, what were you fighting for? Well, I... Understand, as long as we allow desire to rule us, the war will never end. It's inevitable. Building Olympus was the only solution. Coexistence between man and Bioroid is the last remaining hope for the survival of our species. And Gaia is ever watchful of that balance. Bioroids are vastly different life forms from human beings. Their reproductive functions remain inactive so they can produce no offspring. In other words, no sex. And since emotions such as love and hate are controlled, desire and enmity are almost non-existent. However, because bioroids cannot reproduce organically, they must undergo a periodic life extension process. If not, their bodies will age rapidly and die within a matter of hours. This is how we differentiated the bioroid species from our own. By suppressing reproductive function, and altering their life cycles. Itomi, aren't you overdue for a life extension process yourself? Don't you worry. I'll have the procedure done within the next few days. That's good. I hope someday you won't have to go to all that trouble. Not at all, for beginners. She started with only a knife and within ten minutes took out sixteen of our men. That's one hell of a rookie you brought me. So, you proud of yourself? Did it ever occur to you that one of those beginners might just save your life someday? You should show them some respect. Is that all you can say to me? After we've been apart for so long? something nice? Like, how you been for the last two years, or it's great to see you again. Your life is in danger. Don't you think I know that? But the question is why? Who's behind this? I don't know. And what the hell is Appleseed? I don't know. 
stop answering me like a damn machine! I'm sorry. My mission is to make sure that nothing happens to you. Your mission? See you tomorrow at nine. Tell us we got our asses kicked by the legendary Lady Warrior, Dunin Nu. I heard you were killed in battle. People are still talking about how badass you were during the last global war. That's what he said. You can't give me another one too, will you? May I join you? Go ahead. Dunin, your father. What's he been up to all these years? He died from an illness before the war. Oh. And what about your mother? I don't know. I can't remember. My father didn't talk about her that much. So tell me, you and Briarios used to be lovers, right? He was still flesh and blood back then, so to speak. I guess looks count for a lot in love, huh? <laughs> that isn't what I meant at all. It's a shame, really. He's still a man inside. Dunin? What's it like to be in love? What? Thyroids were designed with a limited capacity for emotion, remember? We don't know how it feels to really be in love. Of course, I can understand it on an intellectual level, but love has little to do with intellect. It's emotion. That's what makes it so fascinating. I know it's silly, but it's the one thing I envy about humans. I would think it must be wonderful... ...to feel what love is like. How dare you! You got a lot of nerve talking to a human that way, I'm sorry, it was only... Olympus regular army. Anger. That's one emotion I don't envy. check complete. This baby's ready for a test drive. Once I adjust the cockpit settings, she's all yours. Before she is, maybe you could clear something up for me. Why are the shock absorbers in the tendon sheath so minimal? As I explained before so brilliantly, all forceful impact is absorbed directly through the powertrain. But there are plenty of cartilage units for enhanced mobility. The magnetic fluid used in the triaxial joints as well as the oscillating bearings allow for precise sensory control. Don't get too crazy with it, though. Or you could really get hurt. Relax, Yoshi. Dunin isn't someone you have to be worried about. I'm not. It's just that I've never seen a woman handle a landmate before. No offense. None taken. Why don't you adjust the seat, okay? Dunin, 
You're in good hands. Yoshi's the best mechanic in Olympus. As far as landmates are concerned. Though lately, his passion's been for Hecatonclus units. Next time, you gotta let me peek under the hood. I think I'll pass. I'm kinda shy. <laughs> So, you feel secure? Mm, it's fine. All right. This is the ignition sequence for the engines. Start her out slowly. Try and get a feel for it. That's good. That's the code red alert. Unidentified land base have infiltrated the Bioroid Care Center. Multiple targets. Each one units 104, 106, 107. Employ land base equipped with D-types and proceed to PCSD immediately. Are you gonna stand there all day? Come on! Forget it, I'm going in there! What? Are you crazy? Tunin!
Sorry. How could they do something so foolish? All third gen bioroids have been destroyed. The fire wiped out all original DNA for life extension as well. The perpetrators gained access from a subterranean elevator shaft and one by one cleared all seven security points. Olympus perimeter shows no trace of entry. Landmate origin is unknown. I underestimated them. Alas. It seems our destiny is to bear the sins of all humanity. There's only one option left to us now. I want the perimeter around Tartarus and Daedalus sealed off at once. No one gets close to D-Tank without my approval. Understood? Yes, ma'am. I'll arrange an emergency session of Congress. I hope Dunin's all right. <sighs> he told me! Oh, no! Your life extension procedure... You were due three days ago! He told me! He told me! He told me! He told me! We have yet to identify the landmates who attacked the care center or the location of their manufacturer. That's the extent of the information ESWAT has about the incident at this time. I urge all bioroids, please remain calm through this trial. We are currently exploring every alternative method for life extension. Remember, panic will only worsen our cause. Prime Minister Athena, by having ESWAT seal off Tartarus and Daedalus, have you not exceeded your authority as Prime Minister? The situation necessitates near martial law conditions. Our duty now is the protection of Gaia. And not the D-Tank? Gaia must be secured. Without the aid of the regular army? General, I stand by my decision. What are you saying? Are you trying to humiliate us? General, please, we do not have time for this sort of petty squabbling. Now then, Congressman of Olympus, this terrorist act was an attempt at bioroid genocide. It has rocked the foundation of our society. As it presently stands, the future of all bioroid life has been destroyed by this catastrophe. However, hope still exists. There is yet a way to ensure the survival of their race. A permanent form of life extension. Its implementation will save Olympus from this calamity. For a long time, the elders have been discussing the pros and cons of this method with Gaia. Finally, after much deliberation, Gaia has made its decision. So be it. As a solution to this crisis, we will restore all bioroid reproductive functions. What? Hmm. It was my understanding that the technological data needed to reactivate such functions in bioroids had been destroyed by its inventor, Dr. Gilliam, which would make recovering the original data impossible. Your understanding is correct. The original data would indeed be impossible to recover had it actually been destroyed. However, it has recently come to our attention that Dr. Gilliam's data, which we have named Appleseed, is still in existence. We are confident that our attempts at retrieving the lost Appleseed will be successful. Once found, Bioroid reproductive capabilities will be restored, 
They will evolve into a new race of men and create a shining paradise for us all. She's merely asleep. Will you be able to save her? If we can find Appleseed, Hitomi will recover. What'll happen if you don't? She will age at an alarming rate. Her life function will cease in 24 hours. It's not just Hitomi. An accelerated death is the fate awaiting all bioroids, including myself. I'm Athena Oreos, Prime Minister of Olympus. You must be Dunin Newt. Dunin, have you heard of the scientist Dr. Gilliam? No. We've been conducting our own research for over 20 years now and have yet to surpass the late doctor's achievement in bioroid technology. True. But if we acquire the apple seed data Dr. Gilliam developed, Organic reproduction will be restored to their species. They'd be freed from the looming fear of D-Tank and become a new, eternal race of mankind. Indeed, Gaia has made its decision. Now, Athena, it is time for you to make yours. Dunin, I'm going to need your help to find it. So this old disc is the only clue we've got. We're heading for the lab where the first generation of bioroids were created, right? That's what they told me. If Athena had the disc, why do you think she kept it secret all this time? And if bioroid reproduction is so important, why would Dr. Gilliam want to seal away the original data? Dunan, listen. This is a highly classified mission. It's going to put us all at risk. If completing it will save Hitomi's life, isn't that enough? To stay focused on her and try not to think too much. Everything else is only a distraction. Mind if I ask one more question? Yeah. <sighs> that last shot you fired at the terrorists. Did you... No. Just forget it. Never mind.
Dunin, Leighton, over here. This must be what we're looking for. Kudo, get back! Dr. Gilliam, there's no time. You've got to get out of here. Athena, just give me a second. I have to destroy this. I'll try to hold them on the first floor, but you have to hurry. Mommy! Huh? What's wrong, honey? Did we wake you up? What is it, Dunan? It's her. Dunan, listen very carefully. You see this pendant? Mommy's very important research data is inside of it. But there are some very bad people out there, and if they find it, they'll use it to do some very bad things. That's why I'm hiding it in this. So they'll never find it. The bad people want it? Yes. They want to take away your future. You understand? That's why I'm giving it to you. So you can keep it safe. Okay. Don't worry, Mommy. Good girl. Dunin. One more thing. If Athena ever asks you for it, I want you to give the pendant to her, alright? Athena is very special. I understand. Athena is very special. Dunin, you must protect Appleseed. Dunin, you remember now, don't you? Where is it? Where did she hide the data? Gun. That pendant. And apple seeds inside of it, isn't it? <laughs> Dr. Gilliam, I presume. Stay where you are. We don't want to hurt you.
the army. Coming hot. How'd they know about this? They've got the deck surrounded. We're gonna have to find another way out. There's only one access stairway to the roof. We can counter them from there. Sorry, guys, but I can't let you do that. We're in Lab D, level 5. You son of a bitch! You betrayed us! What can I say? I've always hated Viroids. Besides, the real traitor is right there. Eunuch, how nice to see you. I only wish I'd had the honor of killing your father. <laughs> You've got the stink of Bioroid all over you, you know that? <laughs> what a nice surprise to see you and Briarios together again. Of course, he's not the man he used to be, right? I got fed up with those old fossils and their terrorist farce. Well, lucky for us, you made the classic mistake of trusting your subordinates. What a fool. Briarios, what's he talking about? Let me spell it out for you, Dunan. The attack on the Bioroid Care Center was aided by none other than Briarios. Don't look so surprised. You saw how easily he let my landmate escape, didn't you? And thanks to him, Every last Bioroid is going to die. Is this true? Well, go on, answer her. Ha! <laughs> Legislature Patsy. <laughs> now, I'll take that pendant, if you please. Get to the roof! Let's go. have to give me that pendant. As long as you have it, you'll never be safe. My mother gave her life to protect this, and so will I. You knew it all along, didn't you? You knew everything. Dunan. Dunan! Now you see what he is, what kind of a monster he's become. <laughs> Dunan Newt, I am Edward Uranus III, commander of the regular army. Your father, Carl Newt, and I were comrades, and I knew Dr. Gilliam very well. We met on many occasions when you were young. Duna, you must understand we have no intention of harming you. We only wish to see that data destroyed. Our goal is to regain control of the legislature, destroy the D-Tank, thus ridding the world of Bioroids. When that's achieved, society will once again be under human control. The only thing standing in the way of our success is that data. Now please, won't you hand it over without further incident? Request denied. 
Dunan! Dunan! Olympus was supposed to be a utopia for mankind, but the world your parents envisioned for us has failed! All those years, the only thing my father ever taught me how to do was fight. It's funny. I never understood why he pushed me so hard to become a soldier. But he forged me into a warrior for a reason. General! As my mother instructed, I will give this data only to Athena. And by doing so, you will seal our fate. You mustn't trust Bioroids. They want to control us. Maybe you're right. Maybe they can't be trusted. But after what I've seen, I know this much. Bioroids don't try to kill each other! General, you're wasting your time. You're right. What a pity. Athena is trying to protect our society. Carl and Dr. Gilliam gave their lives trying to hide Appleseed for the sake of humanity. They both feared what would happen when the Bioroids were activated. Because the Bioroids represent a threat to our race. No! Athena honored Dr. Gilliam's request to keep their reproductive systems inactive. General! The Bioroids' purpose is to safeguard our species. Dunan, I cooperated with Hades in the terrorist attack to force Athena's hand. I knew she would have no choice but to fully activate the Bioroids. She'd been hiding the key that would unlock your memory of Appleseed's location. A memory long repressed by the shock of your mother's death. It was my duty to deliver Appleseed to the Elders. And in return, they would guarantee your safety. Don't you see? That's all the more reason to have that pendant destroyed! But General, there's more going on here! The Elders don't simply want to get their hands on the Appleseed data. They needed you and the regular army to attempt a coup. They want you to blow up the D-Tank! There must be some reason why Athena is so desperate to prevent that from happening. General, please! D-Tank must not be destroyed! No! Briarios! I've heard enough. And I'll be damned if I let some machine tell us what to do! <gasps> this is vengeance, Dunan! It was your father who kicked me out of L.A. SWAT. Do you know how many years of humiliation I suffered because of him? Finally, I get to pay him back for all the misery he caused. His DNA is inside of every one of those things! When the Bioroids are dead, Carl's legacy will be erased! Hades! Dunan! If you want to blame someone, blame your father! I think they could wire me to not feel the pain. 
Would you stop trying to talk? God, I've missed you. As I lay dying on the battlefield, all I wanted was to see you again. The elders brought me back to life. You were the only thing that mattered to me. I would have done anything to make sure you were safe. I know that now. I've become a monster on the inside as well. Don't say that. You haven't changed. You're still the same. I wanted to protect you, but I can't anymore. I won't let you die. Dunan, the elders. <laughs> Free Arya! <laughs> The elders promised no loss of human life. But something else is going on. That's why you have to go. <clears throat> Hurry. Before it's too late. No, Briarios, I won't leave you. <laughs> you have to. The future depends on it. There's no future without you. <laughs> Dunan, don't let your mother's death be for nothing. Please, stop trying to talk. Riharios. We picked up an SOS from Briarios on the secure line right after he was shot. <laughs> These Hecatonclus units are built like nothing else. His system shut down in time. I may still be able to revive him. Bring him back. Save him. Don't worry about fuel, she's got a full tank. The new landmate Damasis system makes for a pretty smooth flying once you get the hang of it. Just be aware that she's a little top heavy. If you keep your turns under 60 degrees, it shouldn't be a problem. Dunan. Bioroid emotions might be suppressed, but that doesn't mean that we can't feel love. Save Hitomi.
Dune and Newt reporting. Mission accomplished. Good work. Well done. Thanks to you, Pyroid reproductive functions have at last been activated. Hitomi's regenerative cycle is becoming like that of a human being. Her life will be spared. Thank goodness. It's all right. There's no need to worry. Donan. It was you who killed her, wasn't it? You murdered my mother, didn't you? Donan, please forgive us. Your dear mother's death was an accident. Her research was invaluable. Had she been alive today, we might have had other options. If that's the case, then why did she have to hide the Appleseed data? Understand. Her work gave us a chance of survival. Bioroids, a new form of life that could help us save our own. Man was doomed, but coexistence with this new species gave us all a glimmer of hope. Even so, the human race could not suppress its violent nature. Mankind despises those that are different. Once again, he succumbed to hatred and anger. And fear. He no longer has the ability to maintain this planet. Human nature has caused the abuse of Dr. Gilliam's vision. Gaia has made an accurate prediction that the human race is doomed to annihilate itself and destroy the world in three generations. Dunan. Our time has passed. The human race must step aside. Step aside? If the world is to survive, we have no choice but to relinquish its future to the Bioroids. Dr. Gilliam spent many months creating a virus. The time has finally come for it to serve its purpose. The virus my mother created? Yes. It has been sealed off in D-Tank on the top of Tartarus for many years, waiting to be released. When the tank is destroyed, the virus will make the entire human race permanently infertile. We swore that no human life would be taken. And so it won't. Instead, we will slowly close the book on human history. The last chapter will be the euthanasia of mankind. My mother must have known. And when she refused to fully activate the bioroids, you murdered her! We developed the plans for Olympus with two options in mind. A world of human and bioroid coexistence, or one bequeathed to a new race. Gaia was created to ensure that all decisions were precise and balanced. Dr. Gilliam contributed greatly to Gaia's creation, instilling it with an understanding of both species. It was as if Gaia had inherited your mother's tenacity, for the virus could not be released from D-Tank by the will of man. 
could only be released with Gaia's consent. But even Utopia could not quell man's need for violence. Once again, he became embroiled in a global war and reduced the world to ashes. And now, Olympus too has been marred by the sins of humanity. The hatred of Bioroids as displayed by General Uranus and the regular army has fueled Gaia's anger. It had no choice but to render this decision. We will use Appleseed. The Bioroids will then create a new species. And mankind will be eradicated from the planet. So you used us. I was simply the bait to get Briarios to do what you wanted. It was all to force Gaia into making this decision. You manipulated Gaia! Dunum, it is humanity's destiny. The moment I press this button, the D-Tank on Tartarus will be destroyed, and the virus will envelop the Earth. <laughs> what? Hold it right there. Grid 9A4G, cut the power. We've just rendered that button inactive. Athena, what are you doing? You seem to have forgotten our primary function, to ensure the survival of the human race. That may be, but Bioroids were also programmed not to disobey us. We are no longer the Bioroids you created, but members of a new race. Athena, the wheel of Gaia is irrefutable. Its anger goes beyond General Uranus's actions to encompass the sins of all humanity. General Uranus has just surrendered. The coup d'etat is over. He seeks a full reconciliation. The General surrendered? I'm sure that Gaia is well aware of the impact of these recent events. Dunan, the will of Gaia is not present in this room. But how can that be? Man's hatred for us has lessened. Gaia would have sensed this and reversed its decision. So the Elders shut Gaia down and have been acting on their own. How very astute of you, Athena. The new race of man is wonderful indeed. But Gaia regulates your life support systems. Haven't you put your own lives at risk by shutting it down? That is correct. We accept the fate of our race and intend to perish along with the rest. been programmed to destroy the D-Tank on Tartarus. There's nothing that can stop them now. D-Tank was impenetrable. A close-range shot from one of the main gun turrets could breach the system. It's the fate of those who cling to power. At their current speed, they'll reach Tartarus in 15 minutes. Evacuate the city. The police have already begun. That's our top priority. 
Once the platforms reach an unpopulated area, we'll attack them en masse. Concentrate on Platform 7. It's the control node for the entire fortress. He told me. He told me. Forgive me, but I have no choice. If someone can disable the control box on the frontal cortex of number 7, it will shut down the rest of the platforms. The sequence is specific. Destroying the box won't work. It has to be done manually. The password to shut down the system is Hitomi. Briarios! You asked, and I delivered. Well, don't just stand there. Come on, jump! It is futile! It's the fate of man to destroy this world! Donan! We've been cast from Eden and cannot return. So you're gonna give up and pass on our mistakes to the next race? We may have lost our chance at Eden, but we have to try to survive. We have to believe the future is what we make of it! Covered on all sides. Gun platforms approaching Tartarus. Range 2,000 meters. Our weapons are ineffective. We can't stop them. Squad leader, I'm heading for number seven. Cover me. So, which one is it? There, in the middle! Fire all weapons at the legs of platforms 6 and 8. What about number 5 in front? Forget it. Concentrate your fire on the two platforms flanking number 7. Progress on number eight. from beneath.
platforms have reached Tartarus. They're beginning their ascent. They've all stopped. <gasps> all platforms have shut down. D tank is secure. It's been left to us. It's all been left to us now.
It's not as if anything's changed. And given enough time, I suppose the sins of humanity will only get worse. But there's always a chance that the next generation might learn from our mistakes. So I'll keep fighting. For our children's sake. The true new race of man. Shoulder, always bound down. Chop shoulder. 